Can you really build and dyno test a Pontiac Turbo Kit in eight hours? Let's find out. Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner. I'm at West Tech Performance and welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about a Turbo 350. No, not the transmission and not even a turbocharged 350 small block Chevy. We're actually talking about poncho power. That's right, Turbo 350 Pontiac. Okay guys, here's the situation. If you take a look back at part one, I'll go ahead and put a link up right here. I had a 350 Pontiac motor in my truck. I got it up on the dyno. Unfortunately, it wasn't running that great. After a little bit of work, we got the motor running really good. We made some power runs, did some tuning. The 350 was working well, and I found myself in an unusual situation. I had some extra time on the dyno. So I thought to myself, hey, what would Super Richie do? Well, he would build a turbo kit. We have a Pontiac 350 that's low compression. I mean, what could be better than some boost? Okay, so here was my situation. I had the Pontiac 350 up on the dyno. What I needed to do was get all the exhaust from those headers into a turbo kit. So I went over to my storage area. I found a turbo. I have the GT45. We run on lots of stuff. As luck would have it, the GT45 also had an elbow, a stainless elbow that had a V-band on one side and the T4 flange on the other side. It also had a provision for a wastegate. It also had the exhaust on it. The turbo was already configured for the oil feed and the fitting for the oil drain. Now all I had to do was get the exhaust from the headers, which meant a super rich custom Y pipe, and I'll go ahead and show you a photo here. And I had to remove the pan to put an oil drain in the pan we found a few surprises in the pan you'll get to check all that out but how long does it take to build a turbo kit richie you only had like eight hours can you really build a turbo kit in eight hours yes i reversed the headers on the pontiac 350 i took the y pipe here you can see super richie style <laughs> no it's not perfect but it is done and it did get all the exhaust into the turbo now it was left i had to take the turbo get all that good boosty goodness into the carburetor. So I took all the aluminum tubing that I had laying around. One elbow even had a blow off valve because we use this on a lot of super richy turbo kits. Get the, get the discharge going from the turbo into the carburetor and you have a turbo kit. Let's check it out. Now we're gonna try some jetting. In the rear, some jet extensions. That's the same. Just pull those jets out. Go down two sizes, try to lean it out a little bit. After fixing a couple problems on the NA motor, we were able to make some runs on the dyno, and it worked out pretty well. Hang on a second. Aren't those backwards? Yeah, look what we got going on over here. Turbo kit! DIY. After reversing the headers, we needed to make a white pipe. So I grabbed some tubing, three bolt flanges, turned it 90 degrees, aimed it toward the other side, grabbed the straight section, did a little cutting, did a little welding, and voila! Instant Y pipe. Okay, we're getting it ready. Got our headers all bolted up, finalized. Got a little crossover pipe for a single turbo. I'll go ahead and mount our GT45. Got a provision for the wastegate on that elbow. That should position the turbo up high enough to still drain into the oil pan. We're not going to run a lot of boost, but we'll run a blow through CSU carburetor. You know, we got a Pontiac, we got a turbo. You gotta combine them. 
Oh yes, there will be sludge. I'm taking the pan off, the drain hole in it for the turbo. Probably a good thing. I'm just going to clean that out. It's just from age. But I also found some of the material for me drilling the hole. So, you know, good thing to take this off and get all the shavings out. And then while I'm here, sludge. So an hour or so, and then uh, 25 pieces of aluminum tubing later. Got our turbo discharge going up into our CSU carburetor. Install a single wastegate, add a few vacuum lines, and we're ready for boost. Turbo Pontiac! Yeah, turbo! Okay, now it's time to see some big Pontiac power. Let's take a look. This is our naturally aspirated combination. You can see from the first video, we were actually able to get the motor running despite the fact that it was originally misfiring like this. <laughs> Got fire coming out of the holes, but unfortunately it was not coming out of all the holes. Number six was down and there was another one that was a little bit soft as well. So we cured that. All we had to do was put um, one spark plug in a new one and then also change the cap and, and coil on the HEI. So once we did that, it all seemed to work out pretty well. We put long tube headers on it, has the Edelbrock manifold on there and that brawler carburetor. And then this thing actually turned out to work pretty well. It has a pretty good curve in it. You can see it made 283 horsepower, 335 foot pounds of torque. I think pretty good probably for a low compression, mild cam uh, 350. But I'm sitting around thinking, hey, there's a couple hours left in my day while I have this thing up on the dyno. What should I do? <laughs> Let's go ahead and build a turbo kit as we talked about earlier. And here's what happened when we installed that single GT45 turbo. I had a 7 PSI wastegate. It didn't actually make 7 pounds because of the way that I had it connected. But here's what happened when we ran our made our first pull on the turbo combination. We're at, right at 400 horsepower, 456 foot-pounds of torque. Before running this, I had to make some changes to the CSU carburetor. We just took it out of the out of the carb cabinet and installed it on there. But it was pretty lean, so what I had to do was uh, step stepped up in jets quite a bit. I put uh, five or six jets in it. I also played with the boost reference power valves, evened all of those out. Guys that have the boost reference power valves will know what that is. Basically, we made the adjustment screw basically flush with the edge. And so I just wanted to have a starting point, and then once we did that, we, we see what we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, the change in air fuel curve. It was so real quickly, if we take a look at the air fuel curves offered by, this is our naturally aspirated motor. And here's what happened when we added our turbo. You can see, started out 11 to one, dropped down into the low tens and then came back up. We did a little jetting and stuff and we needed more time actually to do this, but you can see we got it so it's pretty flat out there in the 11s like we like it, although the load in turned out to be pretty lean. So a little bit more finagling and some more dyno time, not trying to build everything all at once, but here are the air fuel curves and it's making good power. A little bit on the fat side, but that's okay. We were running on pump gas. I ended up pulling about five degrees of timing from what was optimum with the NA combination. This was only about five and a half to six pounds. And what I did was made another run after we got a little bit more temperature in this combination. 
And then we had, you can see, it made a little bit more boost and, uh, you know, because the turbo was <laughs> was hotter, got a little bit happier. And so I, I was happy with this. I didn't have a whole bunch of time to make a whole bunch of runs and do a lot of tuning because I had to get the test done. I had to build the turbo kit, get the testing done, and get this motor off so the guys at Westnet could run something on the next day. But we ended up with 413 horsepower. 475 foot-pounds of torque and we had about six pounds or six and between six and six and a half pounds of boost and this combination worked out pretty good running the long tube headers into the super richie custom y pipe the gt45 we had the exhaust coming off the turbo and then we just blew right into the csu carburetor with no intercooler again all of this on 91 pump gas so if you're looking to do a low boost do-it-yourself turbo kit this looks like the results even on this little pontiac 350 or which are older please make sure like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff I'll keep testing.